Hi, my name is Ankush Chowdhury and we are watching LearnerMate Technologies YouTube channel. Can you see the subject line for the today's video? It's all about the PostgreSQL database and in PostgreSQL database, we are going to talk about the PostgreSQL replication. So what is the replication? You know, we'll try to understand one by one slowly, slowly. See, let's say this is my, your primary so this is my database cluster and under this database cluster I have multiple databases are there let's say this is my db1 and I have database 2. So this database cluster is available in some location because you will have operating system right and let's say this is available in some USA location okay. Now what will happen? Till the time everything is good, there is no problem. But let's say you, we got some disaster kind of situations in the US location. Now when I say the disaster kind of situations, it can be your earthquake, it can be flood, it can be tsunami, it can be anything, right? So when this location is not safe, do you think that this server, this database cluster and this database are safe? Do you think that you can take the remote of these databases and you can make sure that your databases are running? No, that's not possible. Because the complete location itself is down and there is no way to go into that location. So in that case, what will happen? The overall your database cluster will be down. But this database cluster is very, very important because it is connected to some application. And this application is very, very critical. I cannot afford the downtime. I cannot afford the downtime. So we need to ensure that at any cost, this database cluster should be up and running, right? Because I'm getting, the client is getting a lot of money by having this cluster and all. And if it is getting down, this will be a big loss for the client. So client is ready to spend a lot of money. And he's saying that was do something but make sure that this should be up and running at any cost. I do not want my customer to get the downtime. So when the customer do not want the downtime, we call it as a high availability. What we need? High availability. High availability means at any cost, my users, my customer should not be get impacted. So what we can do, you know, we can create a replica of it. What we can do? We can create a replica of it. So let's say, I have this operating system, under that I have a database cluster and then under this database cluster, I have these multiple databases are there, these are the databases. So there are two machines are there now, if by any chance if this machine goes down or this database cluster goes down, still I can use this database cluster through which the people can connect and they can access the same to same data. Remember one thing that. The number of database I'm having here, the similar number of database I'm having this side also. So this side, which is our primary side, what we call it as a primary side. This is my primary server. And this server we call it as a replica server, replica server. Some people are called it as a master, master also, master machine, this is my master machine. Where if everything goes good, the people will start connecting from this side and they will try to access this database cluster. And by any chance, as I said, if something went wrong to this database cluster, if it is down, I can use this database cluster as my primary. I can change the role. I can do that. So this is the main importance of PostgreSQL replication. Now you can have multiple replica server. It's not like you can have one. You can have multiple also. But again, remember one thing that when we are configuring it, it is not free of cost. Earlier, let's say you were spending $1,000. Now, how much you need to spend $2,000? So, we are getting the high ability. We are getting the high availability. But for that, the client need to spend some money. And client is earning also. Na? So, then, then definitely he can spend some money also. There is no problem. Another important thing is it is also helpful for load balancing. What is the use? Load balancing. Now what is meant by load balancing? See, when you are using a database, on this database we have multiple jobs are running, right? 
I can have multiple jobs. Like let's say my backup job is running. My application SQL queries are running. Can I do one thing? Can I ask to overload or offload these operations from replica side? Yes, I can do that. Because see, when these operations are happening now on this primary side, it is consuming your resources. So better you do one thing. I will offload these operations from replica side. Now it will consume the resources from this side. That is the reason what will happen? Your load, load will be balanced. The load will be balanced among your master server and replica server. Among your primary server and replica server. So it is not only just helpful for your high availability. It is also helpful for your load balancing. And that is the reason PostgreSQL replication is having lot of demand in the market lot of demand in the market sometimes you might have observed situations like your data corruption also so when you have a data corruption on your primary side it is going to take some time to recover your database right so if it is taking too much time can i do one thing can i use this replica server and ask my client that okay you use this server because it is having same to same data remember one thing that if i'm creating a table over here the automatically table will be created on your replica server side automatically you don't need to do anything if you make any changes from here automatically their changes will be reflected over here it means both the databases are in sync both these are in sync with each other they are in sync with each other now whatever operations i was performing from here i can do the same thing from this side also so if i have any hardware failure then i can do that from here also Another importance of this replica is, let's say I'm doing some upgradation. I want to upgrade. Let's say I'm using the PostgreSQL 12 version and I want to upgrade it to the 14 version. Just take an example. So when I'm doing this upgradation, normally what will happen? You need to make sure that this database cluster should be down. So there will be downtime over here. Now I have this machine, right? Can I do one thing? When the upgradation is going on, can I ask my people to connect from here and access this? Yes, I can do that. So while you are doing the upgradation, when you have hardware failure, that time also you can use PostgreSQL replication. I have seen a mini scenario where the application team is saying that they want to do some testing. What they want to do? They want to do some testing. Now for testing purpose, I cannot ask them to you know do the testing over here because it's my main server, right? So what I can say, okay, I have one more machine is there. You do one thing, start doing your practice, start doing your testing from this side. So they will start using this machine and if the testing goes good, then they will try to do it on this side, right? So there are many scenarios where, you know, this PostgreSQL server play a very, very important role. As I said, for high availability, load balancing, if you have any hardware failure, if you want to do the upgradation and if application team, they want to do the testing. Likewise, many, many scenarios you'll find where the PostgreSQL replication play a very, very important role. Now you might have a question like how we can configure it. What are all things we need to take care before we start looking for the replication. I am going to discuss about that but not in this video. It is quite difficult to discuss everything in the single video. So if you like this video, if you think that I am doing a great job, please say thank you in the comment section. And one more thing like. I'm going to create a next video on PostgreSQL replication that will be practical based. So I'm going to do that. Apart from this, if anyone want to start their career into the PostgreSQL DBA and you think that Learnomate is the base training center for PostgreSQL, then you can reach out to the Learnomate team. The numbers are available over the screen. And if you have any questions, queries, anything, please put it in the comment section. You can also follow us on our Instagram, you can follow us on our LinkedIn. All the details are available in the description of this video. Thank you.